Welcome to another BYU IT training video tutorial. This video is going to cover our um, selection tools in Photoshop. So we have three groups of selection tools. The first one are our marquee tools. They're the second icon down on our toolbar to the left. And there's four tools in this category. Um, they're pretty straightforward. I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool here. And you just click and drag to the shape that you want. And if you want to constrain it to a perfect square, you hold shift, and that will constrain that for you. Once you've made a selection, if you want to um, deselect or undo the selection you've made, you hit control D. It will get rid of those crawling ants for you. Um, the elliptical marquee tool is the same. You just click and drag, and in order to constrain it to a perfect circle, you hold shift. Um, the single row and single column marquee tools are slightly different. These you just click and it selects an entire row of pixels for you. So if I zoom in here, you can see I'm holding Alt in my scroll wheel to zoom in. You can see these, um, the single row of pixels that's been chosen. So those are kind of interesting. The next grouping of our selection tools is there are lasso tools. The first lasso tool, just a regular lasso, is like a free hand. It's probably the quickest and um, maybe like the least accurate, I guess you could say, but it's really good for just quick selections, um, anything you want to do fast. And you just freehand, make sure you close it back up, and those little crawling ants will appear. Our polygonal lasso, the second one down, is pretty much the same. It's another freehand but um, it creates anchor points. So for each place that I click, it's going to create a new anchor point for me. And it's good for getting a hard edge. And um, make sure that you close it. Um, you'll see here there's a little circle that appears next to the mouse icon indicating that it's ready to close off my selection. So I click back on that beginning point, And again, those crawling ants will appear. The last lasso tool is called the magnetic lasso, and it uses something called edge detection. So if I'm going to grab the edge of this rose here, I click somewhere, and as I drag my mouse, it also creates anchor points, but it snaps the anchor points to the edge of my rose. And if I kind of get off track a little bit, um, you can delete anchor points by hitting the backspace button, and it will you can just get back on track. And again, just like our polygonal lasso tool, this one requires um, to be closed and you just um, take it back to the beginning point and that little circle will appear again indicating um, the ability to close your selection and you click and your selection is made. The second, or the, excuse me, the third group of our selection tools has our quick selection tool and the magic wand. So the magic wand tool um, to selects like pixels. So it um, selects them based on their color. And if I click here, you'll see that my um, it, it found most of the pink pixels. Um, if I want it to be more accurate and I only want it to select the darker pixels, I come up here to my tolerance and I decrease this so that it'll only it's more picky in its selection of color so you can increase or decrease that tolerance as as necessary and then there is our quick selection tool which is probably the most popular one it's like a combination of the magnetic lasso and the magic wand where it uses edge detection as well as um, recognizing pixel color so I can just drag here and it'll snap to the edges of that rose as well as recognizing the color. So those are your selection tools in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. And be sure to check out our website at BYU, excuse me, train.byu.edu.